A Little Dreaming is Dangerous is a series for Theodore Jones that tries to capture a glimpse into the psyches of the most prolific stage artists in North Texas. Questions are lifted from and inspired by a few different versions of the famous Proust questionnaire, including one by me. My name is Betsy Lewis, and this is A Little Dreaming is Dangerous, the Proust questionnaire off stage. Christy Vela is the incoming Associate Artistic Director of Theater 3 in Dallas. She has acted and directed at theaters all over Dallas-Fort Worth and at Trinity Rep in Rhode Island. At the time of this questionnaire, Vela has just finished acting in the Armor Plays, Cinched and Strapped, at Theater 3 and now prepares to direct Final Dress, a horror film set at an elite theater camp. It's July 2019. Christy Vela, hello. Hello. Which of your childhood dreams came true? Oh, wow. That I get to play pretend. That is actually one of my childhood dreams. I remember playing alone a lot in, in our backyard and just making up crazy stories and mostly, mostly that I was a witch. And then I grew up and got to play witches. <laughs> What do you appreciate the most in your friends? Um, loyalty. That's it. Who are your favorite poets? Oh, I love Langston Hughes and, um, of course, William Shakespeare and Robert Frost. Yeah. The place where you would like to die? The ocean. What do you most dislike about your appearance? Um, dark circles. I've always had dark circles under my eyes and nothing I can do get, works to get rid of them. What historical figure do you most identify with? Elizabeth I. <laughs> I do. I have dreams about the woman. Uh, she was just a badass, you know? And I identify with her, I think, because on some level, like, I kind of want to be like her. She, you know, nobody believed in her, and then she ended up ruling a, an empire through, through its most prosperous era. So, yeah. What turns you off? Um, whining and complaining. Which of your childhood dreams haven't come true? <sighs> hmm. Owning a little witch cottage in the woods. <laughs> what do you consider your primary flaw? Um, vanity. Your favorite heroes in fiction? Hercule Poirot and Agatha Christie's um, mystery series, Miss Marple, by the same uh, writer. Um, I really like detectives. I like detectives, so Poirot and, and um, Miss Marple. I really like Tom Barnaby in the Midsummer Murders series. <laughs> do you have a favorite animal? I do. I love cats. And I know that sounds cliche or just kind of like normal or regular, but I think they have it figured out. They have it figured out. Like they, the, the ones who live in our homes, they know that we are bigger and less successful cats than they are and we bring them food and they don't have to do anything but lie around and, and be funny or, or not. And we find them delightful. Which living person do you most despise? Um, oh man, that's hard. It's two. Um, I could say Melania. Uh, my, my hatred of her is no secret, Melania Trump. But I, I guess I have to go with right now, it's Donald Trump. I just, I fucking hate that pile of garbage. Who are your heroes in real life? My mother and my father are my heroes. Um, they had nothing. They had nothing. We grew up very poor, and yet they made a life for their nine kids, and we never um, lacked anything. And they made sure that we grew up with manners, and they made sure that we knew how to work hard. 
and they um, made sure that we knew how important an education was and um, being being a good person. What is your favorite curse word? Fuck. What should your final words be? My final words, like when I die, my final words. Um, oh my gosh, that's so hard. My final words, I think, would be I love you. Your favorite occupation? My favorite occupation is watching detective stories on television. <laughs> Who are your favorite villains in fiction? Ooh, my favorite villains. I love um, Darth Vader. Um, I really love um, uh, Snape, who is not really a villain, but he everybody thinks he's a villain. He knows he has to be a villain to do the right thing. And I think that's what I admire most about Snape, is that he knows that the whole world will perceive him as a villain, but he is doing the, he's doing the right thing. Um, I like villains that are complicated. What is your idea of perfect happiness? My idea of perfect happiness is sitting on the beach with my husband and my kids if they want to come along and nothing but the sound of the ocean around me and a fruity cocktail and a good book. Which words or phrases do you most overuse? Like. Um, does that make sense? And um, fuck that. Last question. What are your favorite names? Like people names? Dante and Isa.